Okay, so we're going to have some tetrafluoroethane fun. What we have here is a signal horn, fog horn, uh, sports horn, hopefully not too close to a competitor or a fellow uh, uh, person who's in the stands. Any case, this works because we have a liquid that has approximately a boiling point of negative 50 degrees Celsius. So at room temperature, it's a gas. However, this can is under pressure and the pressure keeps it as a liquid. So what I'm going to do, obviously, if you release the pressure, okay, a tremendous amount of air pressure is going to be forced through the very small opening that vibrates and creates a sound that we all love and hear. So watch out. Cover your ears. Okay, obviously that was pretty loud. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ex uh, basically expose this can to negative 196 degrees Celsius uh, liquid, and that's liquid nitrogen. That boiling point is much lower. So we're going to lower the pressure in that can. So let me put some liquid nitrogen in here. It's like I lost my background. Oh, turning back now. Okay. And I'm going to put the foghorn in there. Okay, and that can is quickly going to go to negative, approximately negative 196 degrees Celsius, much, much lower than the, uh, the uh, tetrafluoroethane's boiling point. So we're definitely going to condense a lot of the gas into a liquid. So therefore, by condensing it into a liquid, this is actually a nice uh, application of ideal versus real gas behavior. In truth, okay, I should just lower the pressure, but I bet I'm lowering the pressure even more because I have now created lower than expected pressure because I bet most of the gas has condensed into a liquid. Let's try this now. You can hear it. By pushing down, it does not work. So by cooling the temperature, we'd expect the pressure to drop, but not this much. And I would guess that the reason why is because the molecules of tetrafluoroethane are now attracting each other enough into a liquid. If it's got a boiling point of about approximately negative 50 degrees Celsius, that's also its condensation point, which means it's condensing, condensing into a liquid. You hear that? It doesn't work. So if I get some warm water, let's see if I can increase the temperature of the can to bring it back to life here. Okay, see if we can get it back, not totally back. See what happens here. Not quite. I feel the liquid boiling. Oh, it wants to go. But again, the temperature is so low, I'm making that gas act like a what? A real gas and it's attracting each other. So one more time. I'm not sure if this is going to get back to its original behavior. Here we go. Okay, very cool. One more time. Now it's acting more as it goes a higher temperature as an ideal gas.